Hello everyone, welcome to round two. Uh, this hand seems good. So, yeah, I guess we just probably end up waiting on the Nameless Inversion unless we really have to kill something early. Probably. Oh. Ooh, guild turn two play. Yeah, we get to go Swamp Swamp Guild Mage into Thief of Hope into Nameless Inversion with a bounce land. Yuck. That seems dirty. Alright, synergy continues. Well, the deck is all synergy aside from this card. <laughs> like, right. literally, it is all synergy aside from that card. I don't... Is there... Well, there's one arrest. My bad. There's one other non-synergy card in the entire yeah. deck. My apologies. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to offend the synergies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Then they'll stop a synergy thing. Synergy. Yeah, that one. Good thing about Guild Mage is that if you just brick and just draw it on lands, you don't actually brick. Right, because you get to keep drawing each turn, except he'll... Oh, he's not killing it. 2-2, two, two, sure. Interesting. Well, you have a 2-2. Two, two. I can play a 2-2. Two, two. We can all have 2-2s, two, not the Tatsu Guide. <laughs> uh, here we go with this thing again. Right, Graph. Gr infinite graphs, yeah. Graft, a silly mechanic, because really, most of the time, you don't want to graft onto your opponent's creatures. Alright, he bricks. He bricked. I think I just inversion that guy and get in for four, and then play Chancery. Really? What do you want me to do? Strider? You want to go Strider? Instead of having the Chancery so we can have drop later? Yeah, like, who cares about a 2-2? Two -two? Inversion can do anything. Especially if we get to chain it, like, soul shift stuff back with, now that we have Strider. Right. Good point. Craft. Yay. No? Alright, fine. Like, um, if he doesn't do anything ever, we just... Do we just eat. swing here, maybe? He'll snap block either. Right. I think we can just play a very long game here. Okay. Yeah, eating up his that. hand and yeah. keeping up relevant spells and... We'll see how many colors he's playing here with that bobble. So he's playing lots of colors. Yeah, so eating his hand is really good then if he's playing all the colors. Right. Oh, hello there, you're big. So yeah, I guess we'll just make him discard a card and then we'll play the bounce line. Oh, that's pretty big actually. What does that do? Uh, it can move counters back onto itself. Uh, um, maybe we go... Now we could go Baku kill that 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, I like that, actually. That's not bad. So I can't steal any counters. Do you want to graft onto my Baku? That'd be great. Go for it. Do it. Do it! No? Fine. Your 3-3 three, three dies for that. <laughs> Pays the price. A yeah, three three will pay the ultimate price, except for not play ultimate price, which is actually pretty good in this format. But that's neither here nor there. <laughs> yep. One of those few formats where you actually would not mind playing. Ultimate price. All right. So this is pretty nuts. If he swings, then we get to like come back for seven. Ooh, that thing's gross. It's still only a two two. Yeah, but it's two two with strat that just gets bigger. Oh. Oh, the sickest card? Yeah, at some point here. I think I'm going to play... I'm going to make him discard a card here. Then I'm going to just play Chancery. And then we have Baku up to tap this. Yeah. So we'll just play the long game, as you said. Ulamog's Crusher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because eventually we get to a point where we can tap his whole team, get in there, and then just devour and greed for... Well, tap all but the... Garl. Yeah, whatever. Or, yeah, Garl. Aether snipe. You jerk. Okay. Aether sniping our Baku, probably? I suppose. Does he make a big... Just remove the counter and tap that. Oh, Aether sniping our guild mage? 
Sure. Sure, that doesn't bother me at all, actually. And you can't attack with this because it's a 3-3, so... Can't attack with anything. Except for this. Oh, Death Denied. So we get to Devouring Greed, then Death Denied? Well, we don't really want to do it now. Not it's now. only I'm, six. I'm just saying we can. Yeah. I think I go this, then make him just discard another card. Sure. <laughs> just say, stop having cards in hand. Seems good to me. Because Baku still has a tap for this. If we want it. Mm -hmm. Let me discard this time. Another Ulamog's Crusher. Holy big shit. <laughs> yeah. Now we also do have the play of Sacking Moon Strider, getting back Nameless Inversion. We do have that option. Uh, if um, we ever need that. Actually, it... maybe if he swings, we... No, we don't do it this turn, obviously. We tap the Aether Snipe this turn. I think we just... Yeah, or we, we could just take four. Like, who cares? Oh yeah, we're at 23. I keep forgetting we gain infinite life off these Thieves of Hope. Yeah. We... Uh, yeah, I block that in a heartbeat. Okay. Just whatever. <laughs> you know, I could even just otherworldly journey this guy, and then he can block everything. Yeah, I know. Baku! Hmm. Sick. I skipped into combat immediately. Uh, no combat. So we go Baku, make him discard a card? Sure. <laughs> just say, stop having cards in hand! We told you not to! <laughs> then we'll just take another four, I guess. Whatever. Hold you no more cards in hand, sir. Sir, I'm going to have to take those cards away from you. <laughs> Discard third crusher? No. Oh, alloy mirror. Ooh, that's hitting him way hard, Jeff. Next turn, I think we just win. Um, quite possibly. We get Two. to swing with everything. And then devouring Two. greed. 2-4. Oh, nest, nest invader. invader. Lame. That actually makes it quite sad. Because Eldrazi spawn. Yeah. Graft on to the Eldrazi spawn? Well, like you said, we have the otherworldly journey play for infinity blocks. Right. Might not be bad. Spread the sickness targeting what? Baku? Yeah, no. So we Strider, get back Nameless Inversion. His guy gets a little bigger, who cares? Because Nameless Inversion is dumb. Well, it gets back. It gets the exact same amount bigger as if he'd killed our guy. Yeah. Well, two bigger. Oh, Prolifer well, yeah. yeah. It's the same amount. He didn't proliferate all the other stuff? He couldn't. We prevented the spell. Oh, yeah, that's right. Haha. -ha. Attacking uh, with a 2 2. So we take 6 here, tap this thing down, swing for 6, have options. When is the Varen Greed? It's a, um, At the beginning of the next end step. Uh, wait, what? Oh, sorry, Journey. Yeah, Journey's next end step. So we're gonna take this. Um, I might just actually Nameless Inversion this guy. Yeah. So we Nameless Inversion this guy, drain him one. We can tap both his attackers, actually, now. So, use the... Yes, always yield to the Bakus. So we nameless inversion that. That thing gets bigger. Um, I guess I swing with everything and then I otherworldly journey the Baku that's the big Baku that's getting blocked, probably. Yes. And then we can okay. nameless inversion something and still have a tap effect. Or tap both guys, yeah. This is fine. So we go. Swing. Swing, get in for six. Cause he'll block this Baku. He might block Demir Guildmage. Might, but I think he blocks this Baku. Okay. At which point then I otherworldly journey this Baku. Which will put a counter on the other Baku to tap everything. <laughs> and then Can I have um, Nameless Inversion up plus tap effect. 
So actually, once this Baku returns, then you I can, can kill actually this kill this guy. Yeah. And we could just have infinite synergy. <laughs> you sound disappointed. This is dumb. You sound disappointed that our deck's doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. <laughs> and let me just kill him with greed. Yeah. Tap his team here. Yeah, whatever. We get to tap all of them? What are you doing? No, cancel. No, that's fine. He dies to greed, just straight up. No, he doesn't. Yes, he it's does. It's six. eight. It's two plus the number of spirits. Oh, that card's absurd. Yeah. He's dead, unless he has mana leak, which we now have the mana to pay for. And he, he didn't leave up blue anyways. And he has zero cards in here. Right. <laughs> that one? Die? Pew. Soul shift into Nameless Inversion. <laughs> Ooh, do it too. I will. <laughs> you put your triggers on the stack, sir. Please. When you have a moment. No. No. The game is ended. All right. Um. Hmm. I feel like Waking Nightmares is good at this, just because he has so many big shit. You might not be wrong about that. I think Mortar Pod's pretty bad in this. Yeah. I think I like this. Yep. Seems okay. He has one relevant card, and that's the Shroud thing. Right. I think everything else is... He probably has, like, two of those, because those things go late. Yeah. Everything else seems extremely beautiful mm -hmm. that he's played. I agree. Hmm. So, fun times. Hmm. I think we keep. We're on the yeah, draw. We're on the draw. We have a two two drops. We, yeah, we have a two drop and a kill spell. Seems fine. Could brick, but that's actually fine. Ch well, Chancery is the best possible draw, I think. Right, because we go nameless inversion. Some or well, no, we just played Demir Guildmage. That's yeah, right. Play Guildmage. Cast for black black. Yay, guild mage! Yeah. Doing your guild magey stuff. And if he play, plays something even slightly relevant, we get to nameless inversion it, then play the chancery. Mm -hmm. And if he doesn't play anything, then, well. Red. Do we see red? Uh, no, we didn't. Okay. So he's probably got a ba bane fire or burst lightning. Yeah, I think I might just kill this. The 3 3, right? Oh yeah, kill this. I mean, yeah, you know what I meant. Kill, kill the big, kill the real thing. Yeah. And then play chancery. Bounce, Bounce lines are so good. Oh yeah, bounce lines are so, are really nice. And get in for two for shits and giggles. Because <laughs> yeah, this guild so... mage still can play beat down. <laughs> I guess if we can, we want to play around banefire. Sure. Probably more realistic as burst lightning. Probably. Uh, Chalice for two, okay, so... So the he's trying... Are coming out. Yeah, the Crushers come out next turn. That's actually kind of scary. Well, we'll have Baku online, so... Yeah. So we go... Play Baku. Play Chancery. Bounce the other Swamp. Yeah, we might be able to beat uh, Crushers. Oh yeah, you can hold down Crushers infinitely with this deck. Trust me, I've done it before. I've held down Double Crusher for like five turns. <laughs> Will he do it is the question. Mm. If he does, he does. And then we just say tap... Nope, he doesn't even have a Crusher in hand, apparently. Interesting. Kami's Striders? I think Kami's better here, right? No. No? Why? Oh, you're right. Strider was probably the right pick there, wasn't it? Yes. Oops. <laughs> um. Well, we said. Still gotta play tight. Right. Black. Black we had seen. Scavenger Drake. Sure. That thing gets scary quick, because sacking those two Eldrazi spawn makes that a 3-3 three, three flyer. That's fine. If we but again, we have the tap plan, so. We should get in here. 
dozen. That thing's pretty solid. Four. We can't play both of these. Do we play Strider first, or do we play this guy first? I think just the mana play, because next turn we can, say, draw a card in Strider. Or, draw a card in Apparition. So, Strider here, then? Yeah. I need to yield to this. <laughs> it's so easy just also, yielding to things. What? Also, um, you might have wanted to tap with the other Chancery for this, because if he tries to go all in on spawns, we could get back Nameless Inversion and kill the uh, Drake. But mm. now we can't. I see your point. I don't think he'll go all in on it just yet, but we'll see what happens. I do definitely see your point, though. Yeah, the problem is if he does, then we actually have to start tapping in. Three. Right, which isn't a problem, because we have all three cards in our hand actually just give extra counters to Baku. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now he was going to probably start going all in on these spawn yeah. plants. Yep, so actually we probably did need that. Bone game. splinters. I think we have to prevent that. Yep. Yep, yep. This is bad. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I think we're still fine, though. I think. Because we can still kill this thing next turn right now. Well, no, because he can sack this in response. Yep. Hmm. I see what you're saying. That is quite awkward. Hmm. Still gotta play tight. <laughs> We might be able to power through it. We still have an arrest, we have... We have an arrest, and we get to tap it down every turn. Yeah. So... This turn, maybe just take three. You mean five? Five. Yeah, just take five this turn. Um, we have Devouring Greed at some point, too. Nexus. Nexus actually could allow us to still kill this thing, potentially. Mm -hmm. So we play Nexus. We play this guy and have this up. But then we have we're wasting mana. He knows we have it. Right, he knows we have it. Um We're wasting mana one. Well, we can't play this guy off yeah. of these lands without wasting mana. I see. But I think we've just gotta waste the mana, right? Um, Leave up nameless inversion still? Does nameless inversion actually do just anything kills that. this turn? We could just draw a card, maybe, or have him discard a card and not waste the mana, so it's four, five, six, and seven. Do we have enough for that? Yeah, we do, right? Because we have seven mana, and this costs the whites and one of the blacks, and then we get to make him discard a card, or we draw a card. Probably have him discard a card, and yeah. just, yeah. I think we can still win. Yeah, I think we haven't haven't screwed us too badly, but we'll see, obviously. Get rid of that big thing. <laughs> yeah, that big thing. Wow. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He almost had it, too. Right. Um, I guess we just pass here. Mm -hmm. At some point, we get to go Devouring Greed, followed by Death Denied, so that's pretty yeah. solid. Alright, if he tries to get too cute here with the Shroud guy, we could double block it. Uh, this... Maybe we just block with this, because it persists. Yeah, I think it's fine. It'll make his other guys bigger, but we get to tap it down in the future. Yeah. Once again, it's just his Shroud thing that's really a right. problem. Well, and this... Yeah, the Shroud thing is the real problem. Yeah, we get to tap that thing for basically five turns in a row, so... Uh, at least six. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Devouring Greed. Followed by Death Denied. Followed by Devouring Greed. Uh, so we can Devour and Greed him for eight. Lose all our guys, make his Shroud Guy infinity. 
We could devour and greet him for six. Leave up a Baku. We could just draw a card. Well, let's start by drawing a card, I think. Yeah. So we'll go draw a card. I guess I just tap both the Chanceries. Yeah. Don't really need the blue at all. Right. That was kind of pointless. Um... Could get in there with the no we yeah we can no we can't get in with the apparition no all right so I guess we sit and we tap down this flyer seems okay so this will fetch his blue probably because he has one blue source yep so is he splashing for like. All the colors, probably. Splashing domain. Green, black. So. Green, black, splash domain, probably. So we get to tap it with Blink Moth. And he can't really attack with the Shroud Guy still, I think. Right. I mean, if he does, we get to, um, like, double block. Could triple block, even. Yeah. So. Okay. He agrees. Hmm. What did you draw? Spread the sickness. That's sad. Guess I removed the counters and tapped this. Sure. Um. Or we could death denied for one. We could have death denied for one, but I think I like having death denied for a little bit later. Oh, that thing's dying too. Whoops. Yeah. Actually, we did need to do that, because now Drake is... Well, we can still death denied for one and play mm -hmm. Baku and have Yeah. And the nameless stuff. inversion play killed us. Yeah, it did. Mm. If we lose it's definitely because of the nameless inversion play. Oh, Thief of Hope. That could actually still work. Let's see we have three No, we need to well we need Baku back, right? Yeah, so So we thief. have to go Well we can't do Thief. We only have two black sources. And Death Denied requires both of them. Oh. Um. So we go... Oh, shit. But then we don't have anything to tap this down with. We're gonna have to block with Blink Moth. Okay, so we have to block with Blink Moth. So actually... So we go Death Denied, grab Baku... Let's see. So we need two mana up, right? Mm -hmm. So we have one, two, three... So we can Death Denied for two... Fetch Baku and, like, Strider. Strider. And then yeah. play Baku and have enough to activate the Blink Moth Nexus. Yeah. And we're chumping with Guild Mage and, ne and Nexus, and we really need to draw an arrest, I guess. Okay, so then we play Baku. Yep. Something with Blink Moth and, and yeah. Yeah, and Guild Mage. Unless he just attacks with the Drake for some reason. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Alright, so activate the Nexus. Chump City. Guess we can drain him some with Devouring Greed. We're actually just dead then. Are we? So we have to. Let's see. Yeah, we don't have enough. We could do Thief of Hope. Dark yeah. Greed does trigger Baku. Oh, what the. F oh, gross. Crusher. Okay, so now we need two counters and still have to sack something. Can we do it all? I think thief. we can. We start with Thief, right? Yeah. So we go Thief. Then we... Uh, Strider, I guess. Strider, then... leave up inversion. Well, no, we gotta actually use Leave up this. tap. Leave up tap. Kami's gonna bite the dust. Or Strider. Kami or Strider bites the dust. Actually, this is... Potentially okay, because then we do... Hmm. 
Strider gets back. Because um, then we attack. Yeah, we get back apparition. And we actually, Strider gets back death denied, doesn't it? No, it's a uh, soul shift. Oh, only yeah. spirits. Only spirits. But we get to tap both of his guys. Uh, get, get in for some damage. Say Kami bites the dust. We, or Strider bites the dust. We get back apparition. All his team is tapped, and then we devour and greet him out of the game. I think that's how this works. Okay, so we tap that. Yeah. So Strider's going to bite the dust. Because then we play Apparition, tap his guy. Yes, yeah, so we block with Strider. And that's two, four, six. And then sack four spirits. That's eight plus two. That's 16. Okay, so you're going to potentially have to walk me through this one again. But we'll see. Because we have to tap down the Eldrazi spawn and whatever yeah. else. Oh. No, oh, that's like the worst. No, oh, that's draw. the worst possible. Uh, we're still not dead. We're not we have, dead. <laughs> we um, have Apparition and Nameless Inversion double tap again. Right. So we, we can't attack, can we? I don't think we... I mean, we could attack, theoretically. Because um, we Nameless Inversion this thing out of existence. Right? So we can have we to... Can we Devar and greet him for two? We could. Um, I don't know if it's the right play, but we could. I think I like actually. De I, I think I like nameless inversioning this. I think we have to devour and greet him. Do we have to? We're at the eight minutes, so let's hurry up with this. Um, so I think we actually nameless inversion this, swing, and then we devour and greet him for a bit, leaving a Baku activation effect, right? Or no, we don't. We don't have the mana for that. Yeah, I think we just devour and greet him for two, and then tap his uh, scary guys. That's so awkward. It's fine. I know. It's fine. It's free. Just... Or maybe we sack this so we have another blocker still. Yeah, we sack the persist guy. So, so it's five. So it's for four? Plus the thief. Oh, yeah, plus the thief. So, yeah, devour and greed for five. Getting a counter. And Getting then we have devour and greed next turn to, for lethal? Yeah. yeah. As long as he doesn't have anything. Right. Well, and our life total is padded now, which is nice. So, like, we could even take a hit from the Scavenger Drake if we really needed to. I think we will need to, actually, because this, we have to tap down... Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap... Actually, t I think I tap these two. Yeah, definitely the... So we what? go tap, tap. Yeah. Um... And then I guess at the same moment I also nameless inversion this guy. Because yeah. might as well. Has no net difference to well, our... It makes it us lose one more life. You mean gain one more life? Gain one more if lose one more life because this shroud thing gets beat. Oh yeah, it, so it nets us even. And then, yeah, we just greet him out of the game. So basically we just have to have him not have lightning bolt. He doesn't do anything. So we greet him out of the game. Yep. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> Valiant effort. But. Sayonara. <laughs> <laughs> Devar and Greed is a dumb card. Yeah, it is. That is my target. Select target. Select. Oh, that target. <laughs> I'm like, which target am I selecting? <laughs> I'm selecting the Soul Shift target. My apologies. Right now, he's basically <laughs> probably slamming his fist into his computer. <laughs> he has two thirteen. He has a thirteen, a thirteen, an eight, eight, and a th another thirteen, thirteen, and he like easily lost the game. I think he's going to spend ten minutes on us. All right, well, in that case, see you in round three. Yep, so we'll see you all in round three. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and yeah, uh, we'll wait through this. He's dead. You know he's dead. He has no cards in hand. It's a proven matter of fact. See you in the finals.